welcome to this week's episode of Atherton On Air. I'm Addie Shaney and here's what's trending. Turn those cameras on. That's the new push here at Atherton as we continue to work through NTI and all of its many challenges. Atherton's principal and teachers are trying to find new ways to persuade students to show their faces during online classes. It's not always easy. Here's what some students have to say on the issue. I've seen a lot more students have their cameras on during my classes and I personally also have had my camera on and I've noticed that it has had some big improvements. I have seen more students focusing and engaging with other students and I've noticed those improvements on myself. I have too been engaging with other students and I think it's a great policy to have during NTI, you know, uh, you know, like regarding all those improvements. The camera thing is like weird to me. I don't really like it. I'm starting to have to turn my camera on in all my classes and it's just, I don't know not my thing i'm not really a big this type of thing person and i kind of feel like people should turn their cameras on now because like i said teachers make it comfortable they don't make it cringy to the point where you can't do it and they make it comfortable to the point that you're actually having fun i think though that kids should have their camera on cameras on even if they don't think they should it'll really help boost their morale and because other it'll inspire other kids to have their camera on and when you're looking at a face versus an icon talking it's a it's just a lot better a lot of teachers right now are telling you to turn their cam your camera on but they're not really forcing it and like i never turned my camera on before this because i just wasn't comfortable with it and i feel like that's the reason why a lot of kids don't turn their camera on and like that's going to be the challenge for kids to turn their camera on. At times everyone is struggling during NTI and it can definitely take a toll on our mental health. After Turn On Air reporter Ashley Iglesias joins us now with more on that story. As students have been dealing with NTI, many students are having a hard time trying to balance schoolwork, family life, and even having a job. With this being said, NTI can be a very stressful time for students and can have a huge impact in our mental health. So, what can we do to give our mind a break? Here are some helpful tips that some Atherton students find useful to de-stress during these times. Hi, I'm Marina. I'm in 10th grade and overall I think the NTI has been pretty stressful. So I have been pretty stressed out, but to cope with that I ride my bike or I walk outside and I just kind of tell myself that like I've gotten through stressful times before and I definitely can again. So that's just something to think about, but it has been a lot and I try to just stay happy and stay positive, but it can be hard sometimes, but overall it's manageable um, and I can get through it. <laughs> this is how I'd say I relax, especially now since it's the Halloween season, is watching a horror movie or like a horror TV show, like American Horror Story, and <laughs> it's in the title. And yeah, that's how I relax, at least now, because it's Halloween season. Hello, my name is Cassidy, and NCI does really have me stressed out. And I feel I get the most stressed out when teachers start posting all of the assignments at one time, and my anxiety goes really up, and I just feel super overwhelmed. But I have found a lot of coping mechanisms, like, I just really realize that I can do the assignments whenever I feel like it, whenever I want. I don't have to do them right in that class. I have a little bit more freedom with that. And in terms of self-care, I'm making sure that I get out every day and take a walk and just let everything go and enjoy my family and my life. I would also like to introduce our mental health counselor, Miss Faley. Here's what she has to say. Hi, my name is Hannah Faley and I am your mental health counselor here at Atherton. I am a therapist. I have um, my LCSW. I'm a licensed clinical social worker. I have been a therapist for the last 20 years working with children, adolescents, and teens. If you're struggling with anxiety or depression, um, if maybe you've experienced a recent loss or you're dealing with grief um, or just kind of overwhelmed or stressed, which is really easy to do, um, really easy to be in this um, COVID era um, of, that we're in right now. It's not easy to to navigate and so maybe you need some extra help with that and that is why I'm here. If you need to get in touch with me, one way to do that is 
through your counselors, your um, school counselors. So you can contact Miss White, Miss Ool, Miss Campbell, or Miss Swanson, or Miss Medley, and let them know that you would like to meet with me um, to kind of talk more about some mental health issues. I know this is not an easy time. Um, I'm I'm all constantly worried about how my my kids at Atherton are doing with um, their mental health during this you know virtual time, and so I know it's not easy. If you need help please reach out to somebody and get it. I am happy to be there for you all. Thanks. For Atherton On Air, I'm Ashley Iglesias. If you are struggling, remember to reach out to Atherton's mental health counselor, Ms. Faley, or any Atherton counselor or teacher. And remember, everyone is dealing with NTI stress and anxiety. Let's hear from a few more Atherton students. NTI has really stressed me out when it comes to the workload and being able to focus and do my work on time at home. NTI is stressful because you can't write stuff down as it's being written. Like if the teacher is writing something on the board, you can't really do that in NTI. So with NTI, I really have been stressed. I've been having assignments due back to back to back to back. And it seemed like it caused more stress for me because I'm trying to get every assignment done in a certain amount of time. NTI does stress me out. Um, and it's more so, like, just keeping up with all my work. And I'm coping okay, I guess, but it's, like, it's just stressful. But it's the fact that the schoolwork is all there, that's there. There's no lunch, no recess, no breaks at walkers, no socialization. It's school, but with, with nothing but the work. Um, it's, NTI is also stressful because you always have the constant uh, threat of like technology not working, like a meeting not connecting, or your internet going out. I feel like it would be more helpful if we had a longer due date instead of due by Friday at 11.59. I feel like they should give us like a week or so in between because some of these assignments is a lot harder, especially with math. Math is way harder to learn over virtual instead of in person because I'm in person I gotta be in person to do math work instead of trying to do it online because it's not a lot more helpful because like we're not in school like learning anything like actually we're just kind of like learning online and like that just kind of like I don't know I just don't think that's the way I learned like effectively I came from a Catholic middle school and while my all my friends were going to the sales or Trinity or places like that I thought Atherton would be the best school for me, you know? And now my friends ended up going with me. So now I'm in a completely new school. Um, and I'm an introvert who has trouble getting to know people with people I've never met in my life. I've, give, I've been given a squeaky hammer and been told to break a, a very thick layer of ice. I don't know how to introduce myself or when or who I introduce myself to. And in terms of self-care, I've been just really trying to take care of myself and get myself dressed and get myself ready even if I'm not going anywhere because it just motivates me and um, helps me get out of bed in the morning. We want to give a little extra love to the newest members of our Atherton family right now. So let's recognize the Atherton Freshman of the Week. Hi. This is Ms. Albanese. I am one of the freshman English teachers, and I'm here today to recognize one of my students, Gabrielle Graham, as a freshman student of the week. Um, Gabrielle uh, has a few traits that are part of our IB learner profile. Um, she's a risk taker, and she's also a communicator. Um, so when I say she's a risk taker, it's because um, from the start of school, to now, she has been consistently turning on her camera in class, even when it's much easier not to. Um, secondly, she is a great communicator. Um, she facilitates discussions in small groups. Um, she responds to the comments of her peers, and she builds upon those with her own ideas. Um, and she also knows how to disagree with her peers in a respectful manner. So um, she's doing a great job. In NTI, and I look forward to seeing her grow over the course of this year. Good job, Gabrielle. Hi, Atherton High School. My name is Miss Woolley, and I'm a teacher in the Freshman Academy. The Freshman Academy teachers would like to nominate Jessica Abrams for Student of the Week. Jessica regularly attends 
her classes and signs on early. When in class, she participates, being a risk taker and a leader in the class, and often volunteers to solve problems. If she's unsure of how to complete an assignment, she asks questions of her teachers, being a great communicator. She regularly completes assignments and turns them in on time. Thank you, Jessica, for your hard work and dedication. Keep it up. Hi, I'm Miss Lucier, and I wanted to nominate Ramey Escobar for Student of the Week. I nominated Rainy because she comes to every class on time. She participates in all of our activities. If we're doing a Pear Deck or a Nearpod, she answers every question. She responds in the chat and asks questions when she needs to. And I really appreciate all the hard work that she's doing for biology. Ms. MacArthur also said in her Intro to Media class that Rainy takes really great photos and she has often won Photo of the Week. So congratulations, Rainy. And congratulations to the Atherton JV Quick Recall team. They competed over the weekend in the Regional JV Challenge. Atherton came in second place, beating DeSales and St. Francis. Congratulations to the Quick Recall team. Class of 2021, do you know who your classmates are? Even though we don't get to see each other in person as much as we used to, it's still important to keep up with your fellow seniors. Let's take a moment to reacquaint ourselves with Class of 2021's very own Rhiannon Johnston. Hello, my name is Rhiannon Johnston. I'm going to be a senior this year at Atherton, and you may be wondering, Rhiannon, why are you in the woods? <laughs> well, that is a good question, and the only way I can answer it is COVID-19. So over quarantine, I was alone a lot of the time and I didn't have anything to do. So I just like ride my bike to Cherokee Park and I would just like sit in the park. But since then, I have gotten my restricted, which has changed the game. And I drive a 2001 Subaru, Blue Subaru Forester, so if you see me around. Um, but since then, I've just been driving places and going all over um, Louisville and downtown Louisville and Indiana to do photo shoots. Um, photography is a huge part of my life. I started doing it in like sixth grade. And since then, I've just like created so many cool photos. And I even got into um, GSA. Um, which is Governor's School for the Arts for Film and Photography, so I'm a 2020 alum. Um, another huge part of my life is my family. Um, one of the, the film I made that got me into GSA was about my sister with, who has type 1 diabetes. Um, it was something I was super passionate about, so I hope to do more projects like that in the future. Um, besides me wandering around in parks and like driving to random places, I love just like sitting in my room, but my room is some a place I like to decompress in. So I have, um, I like to like hang stuff in there that like I love. So I have a lot of um, photo, my, some of my favorite disposable photographs. So like I have a film camera and disposable camera that I use to take photos on. So I have a lot of, a lot of photos hung up in there. I have my favorite um, drink ever, which is Arizona tea. Um, but yeah, I have those hanging up in my room on my ceiling. And I also have my stereo in there. Now my stereo is something I just recently got into. It's just like burning CDs for my friends. Um, Cause I think it's cool to just like make a playlist for them and then like design a little CD cover and give it to them um, just to see how they react. So I have CDs hanging from my room as well as my stereo and all my CDs. Right now I'm listening big on Nirvana. It's pretty good. Anyways, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's me, me in him, in the woods, just chilling. Um, yeah. And how well do you know your teachers? Can you identify your favorites in this photo? Miss Marzian created this cool Bitmoji staff picture of our faculty members, and we wanted to share that with you. Thanks to Miss Marzian for making this. If you have any good news to share, please let us know. We'd love to tell your story on Atherton On Air. Also, if you are a first time voter in the 2020 election, we want to interview you. Just message us on Instagram at atherton.on.air. That's all the time we have for now. Thanks for watching. I'm Addie Shaney, and remember, what you do makes a difference. Mm -hmm.